Welcome back to VS Athletics. In today's video, we're going to go over the Nike Pole Vault Elite. This is a color update from last year's model. So exact same shoe in both the Volt and Mint Seafoam. And then you have your white, black, orange, and pink models. So not much to go. Full length plate with shark skin back for the uh, traction in your heel. You have a six spike plate and you have added ridges for increased traction. This is a, once again, full length plate. You have full length cushioning as well. You have midsole foam. So adequate cushioning for your run up. Then you have a synthetic mesh lightweight upper that is for lightweight and breathability. And then instead of a tongue, you have a inner sock. So that's to give you a snug fit, keep you comfortable in the shoe. And then you have not one, but two straps. So you have the midfoot strap, keep you locked in. And then you have the heel shank strap that goes over that heel cup to really lock you in place. So this is all designed for lightweight. So this comes in at 7.7 ounces for a men's size nine. And you can also see little design cues in the shoe. If you take a picture of this with a flash, you'll see the vaulters in there. So once again, double strap, keep you locked in on the runway, full length cushioning, lightweight design, tons of grip in the full length plate, and you also have added grip. You can see in the shark skin in the back, heel cup for stability. Now, interesting thing is there technically is no thing as a or no shoe as a pole vault shoe. There was always a kind of pole vaulters who would either use a long jump or a triple jump and then different brands would call those triple jump pole vault or long jump pole vault and then Nike decided to design a pole vaulting shoe and that original pole vaulting shoe was more of a triple jump design. So as you can see, this is flat like a triple jump shoe. So flat bottom, flat bottom, triple jump, flat bottom, close to a triple jump, and you have that kind of wedged design in the back for that heel cushion, wedge design, but a lot more in your triple jump. And then in 2016, they switched to a long jump profile. So here's your long jump shoe. As you can see, you have a more of a kind of a sprinter plate. You have some flex in the plate and the design of the Pole Vault Elite changed to that long jump last. So first you were triple jump designed, then you were long jump designed. So technically you could long jump in this shoe. Haven't seen people do it yet, but I mean, it offers all the heel support for when you land locked into your foot good quality spike plate, full length spike plate, like your long jump shoes, and difference in the back. So this would be your previous version to your new style. So great shoe, you could probably long jump in it, wouldn't triple jump in it, but pole vault is what it's named and pole vault's what Nike kind of dominates the market. Everybody wants the pole vault elite, but um, the women's world record is a long jump shoe and the men's world record is in the Puma, which is kind of a long jump shoe, almost looks like a sprinter shoe. So once again, we always say it's the athlete that goes in the shoe that makes the fast times and the high jumps and the bar clearances, not the shoe that goes in the foot. So if you're a good athlete, you'll jump good in anything, but these are the 2023 versions of the Nike Pole Vault Elite. And these can be found at VS Athletics. That is vsathletics.com. Leave a 
comment in the comment section and we'll if you have any questions and we'll get back to it as soon as possible you can always call us at 800-676-7463 if you want to talk to customer service and you can also try both of these on plus you can try on all the old styles we got all the new styles we have and other shoes all the old long jump shoes we have all that is available in our store and online our store is located at 1450 west 228th street that's torrance california 90501 and once again thank you very much have a nice day